the hardest part of photography by far and also the most important part especially for those who are trying to make a living with photography is how to get your work to be seen by others and here there is no denying that social media is one of the most powerful tools we have as creators a platform that most of us could not dream of having otherwise in a matter of seconds and with just a few clicks we can share our work with billions of people around the globe and connect with them on a more personal level but with great power comes great responsibility and social media comes with a lot of dangers both on the uh, consuming side and on the uh, creative side so let's talk about what i believe are the positive things about social media the negative parts of social media and how i personally use it to share my work to connect with fellow photographers and to get inspiration from other people's work i couldn't even dream of having a career as a fine art photographer if it weren't for social media i am no one i am from a very small town in northwest spain where photography is something that people think about when they get married and that's about it i grew up knowing no one in the arts i had no connections whatsoever in the art world it is sad but the reality is that the arts have been historically for the most part reserved for the privileged for those uh, well off with enough means to support themselves while they create art and they try to make a name for themselves art is work art is hard work it takes a lot of time and effort it doesn't come easy to anyone but we all need to eat and pay the bills and also for those with good connections because knowing someone is always a huge advantage social media and the internet have provided new paths for artists to make some money at least and they have eliminated a lot of the barriers when it comes to reaching an audience the gatekeepers are mostly gone they have been replaced by an algorithm and the algorithm can be a lot of things but it sure does not care about who you are how much money you have or who you know its only interest is in how you can help it to make people scroll a little bit longer by all means far from perfect but if you ask me it is a little bit more fur than it used to be it is true that we can still reach people out of social media online we can have a website offline we can hold exhibitions or attend art festivals but we can't expect people to check our websites every once in a while to see if we have new work or to attend our exhibitions so i do believe that social media can have a huge positive effect uh, and impact when it comes to sharing our work but not everything is about self-promoting or about sharing our work there is a lot of other positive uh, effects that uh, social media can have on us as photographers i've made friends on social media i've met fellow photographers and i exchange ideas and i have very interesting and deep conversations uh, with them conversations that i would never have otherwise i would have never met all of those people if it weren't for social media i also love to see other people's work especially those just starting out it's usually very fresh and new and very inspiring it's work that will probably never get published and there could be no way for me to see it if it wasn't for social media again finally i also get a lot of educational value i have no formal education in photography so most of what i know is uh, coming from experience and from what other photographers have shared online sure i have read books from some of the masters but they are not affordable or accessible in the way that social media is a common mistake that I see among photographers, including myself, is to prioritize social media over their own channels. And this is because social media makes it so easy and so convenient. So we tend to share our ideas, thoughts, and new work there first. Over time, we build an audience on social media platforms, and those platforms become the way we share our work, the default way to do it. And this is a trap because you have no control whatsoever on how your work is going to be shared and who is going to reach social media preys on people's attention on everyone's attention on the followers attention and the creators attention 
that's why social networks usually reward those creators who take the time to engage with their followers to reply to comments and messages and all that kind of stuff because that makes everyone to spend more time on the social network. Make no mistake, I don't think there is anything wrong with spending time on social media as long as we do it intentionally. Another negative effect of using social media for photographers is that it can be very overwhelming to see the sheer amount of amazing work that is being shared every day. There are a lot of talented photographers out there. We might be tempted to feel like we have to keep up, but don't even try because it's not possible. We are just one person. We need to find our own pace. We need to figure out our process. Just take it easy, slow, but steady. Think long term. So as I've said, I use uh, social media to share my work, to reach uh, new people, people who might like my work, and to connect with uh, fellow photographers. I see those uh, social media platforms as a coffee shop where everyone goes to meet. But we all need a home, a place where uh, friends can come over every once in a while. That's why I believe that every photographer should have a website, a place that you can build and customize to your needs, to your liking, the way you want your work to be seen. And I also have a newsletter to keep people updated about what I'm up to. And by the way, if you haven't signed up, the link is in the description down below. My social media accounts are not under my control. I could wake up tomorrow and have this YouTube channel gone, maybe deleted. I use it as a tool to connect and to reach new people, but it's very important to show everyone the other ways uh, they can find you. So if YouTube decides to delete my channel tomorrow, you will still be able to follow my work, whatever I might share it next. I don't want my work to be a reason for people to spend more time on social media either. I don't want you to have to open Instagram to see my new images. I care about your time and I care about my time. That's why I spend very little time on the uh, social media apps. I might open them once or twice a day to reply to some messages and maybe once a week to just uh, take more time to take a look at other photographers' work. I usually share one new image every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time. I schedule that posting uh, using different tools so I don't have to open the apps to uh, post them and so the algorithm doesn't trick me into spending a lot of time on uh, those apps. To schedule posts on Instagram, I use Facebook's uh, Creator Studio. For Twitter and Facebook, I use uh, Buffer. They have a free tier uh, that allows you to connect up to two social media accounts, I believe. And then uh, my own website, the, the blog platform that I use, well, allows me to uh, schedule posts and I share my images there too. I get all of this done early during the day so I don't have to worry about it uh, later on. And it's also very useful if I'm on a photography trip because I can leave uh, several days worth of images ready to go and then just not have to worry for a few days and just, uh, you know, focus on making new images to share later. The amazing thing about this process is that I do it all from my computer, so I don't even need to have the apps on my phone. I do though, because I don't really spend that much time on them, but if that's a problem for you, well, you can delete them from your phone and I still be able to post on all of those networks using just the browser on your computer. And that's basically it. As you can see, I keep it as simple as uh, possible so I can focus on, as I said, on what really matters, that is making the images and editing them and making them the way I want them to be, and then to connect with the fellow photographers and to exchange ideas and to share my thoughts with them. In this way, social media platforms can be a very, very powerful tool, and I'm very thankful for being able to use them. I think it's a very exciting time to be a photographer. I still can't wrap my head around the fact that I get to do this and that I get to connect, uh, to show my work all over the, for, to people all over the world, and I get to connect with photographers from the US, Europe, South America, Australia, and New Zealand. These people I would never be able to reach 50 or 60 years ago. So I'm very thankful for all of that. But we also need to be aware of the dangers of social media and use them wisely and intentionally. I would really, really, really love 
to know your opinion about this. I would like to hear about how you use the internet and social media to share your work, if at all. Maybe you decided to just uh, do it offline, but I would really like to hear that too. And if you have any questions or you would like me to go a little bit deeper on how I use those tools to schedule my images on the different social networks and whatnot, please leave a comment and I'll, I'll get back to you. That's all. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.